Can you imagine Corny being in a locker room loaded with talented guys, but the most over people on the show are not the guys? It's it's the ladies. And I have, look, I got no problem with that, quite frankly, right now. I don't have any issue with that whatsoever uh, because, and I know that some people, and I know that, you know, you and I have discussed this before uh, casually about if, if uh, it's like saying the manager's, the one knocking your work in the ring was Corny was so good, he was better than a manager should be. I've heard that. You know, Cowboy told me that one time. <laughs> he said, hell, he's better than some of the guys we got. He can, he, his elbows are better. Or this is better. That's, he said, but that's not what I want. I want him to be, you know, whatever. It's, it, wasn't, it wasn't that. So. Well, it, it, but it, exactly. And, and, with the, and, and here's the thing, though. What I always try to do was what Heenan did. And it make it look like I was really trying to cause harm as as best I could, but I was just ineffectual, mm-hmm. rather than because some managers their stuff looked phony to me, and I mean phony like not like they were pussies, but just phony. Yeah, and I didn't want to do that. But here's the prop to me: you've got Ronda Rousey, who's in, uh, not only had incredible star power coming into the thing and is legitimate. But also Charlotte, who, and I have seen a couple of her matches. And of course, she's got the genes, the bloodline. Yeah. But she's a legitimate athlete, and you can tell. And she carries herself well. And that sparked interest in the female division because they were doing things that uh, that were so far and above what the other girls in the past have done or been allowed to do in some cases. Meanwhile, the guys' division. They didn't have a Ronda Rousey. Well, they got Brock Lesnar, which, and he, you know, shows up two or three times a year and gets paid $16 million or whatever. <laughs> but yeah. it, that's the thing is, I think the the stars align for the female division and that you have a couple of, of tremendous athletes and one with mainstream credibility um, and, and a lot of interest. And, and her debut match was the best debut ever. And, and, yeah. You know, she just, she knows, and she I'm was a wrestling fan, so she, yeah. could, she could see it. She wants to, but Corny, the, she wants to learn. She wants to get better. She wants to learn that, because... That's this, what you had, though, yeah. when, when Austin and Rock came along 20 years ago at the same time, and then you had a bunch of, of guys that, that followed the over that were also getting over and that were doing a bunch of stuff that either nobody else had been able to do or been allowed to do. And the guys were hotter than hell. But now, how can you have the guys, A, do anything that guys previously have not done because of all the hot shotting and the blah, blah, blah? And secondly, where are you going to get a guy now that can get over like that generation did because all the guys now have been, I don't know if I can say this word, kitty whipped uh, Mm. that are on the roster now? You don't have those Rocks and Austins. And guys that will just go out there and say, "Well, I, you know, I'll do this and get over, or maybe I'll just go home." Uh, they've, I think, they keep a lot of the guys under their thumb too much. So, I, th- what you're seeing now with the girls, they they just kind of accidentally let them do it, but it's the same thing that happened 20 years ago with the guys. And now the guys are too timid to follow those guys from 20 years ago, but the girls can. Yeah, good point. Very good point. I can't. I can't disagree with that. I, I'm waiting for some guy to, to, to have the balls to say, I'm going to be different. I'm going to challenge the, the stereotypical uh, s- system that we men are supposed to fit in. I'm going to break that mold because I've I got to get out of this, this comfort zone, this area, and, and elevate. I've got to elevate. And then when you find out that you've el- you're elevating yourself and you're, quote, unquote, getting over, then you find the company's going to give you the biggest hug they could find and line your pot- pockets up with some nice money because you're becoming a star. And we both know. Well, now, damn- but also that doesn't always happen. Sometimes, sometimes it's almost like, who the hell do you think you are of from the way it, it looks on the outside? But if you're good enough, they're not- here's the thing. With a shortage of stars, with a shortage of stars in the wrestling business, a male star or a female star has got a lot more leeway because every company, no matter if it's Ring of Honor or Court Bowers Company, MLW or WWE or Impact or whomever the hell it is, they're all looking for new stars. And yeah. anyone that says they're not is lying to you. Come on. That's what makes yeah, it, no, that's what sells tickets. That's the deal. 
That's exactly right, and, and, and that's the thing is you have to find somebody or there has to be somebody who not only will say, well, I, I know exactly how to get over and I'm going to go out and do it whether they like it or not, and it, the, the problem is that you have to have that, that somebody that can do that and it has to work. Or elsewise, you've just got Enzo Amore. <laughs> I mean, he was convinced that it was going, to, but it didn't work. Um, but but that's that's the thing. You have to have those two pieces, and and so far, I think it's more on the girls' side than the guys. Yeah, I agree. I agree. 